Here we want to find the sum of 10 sixteenths and 11 twelfths. But before we try to determine the least common denominator, it might simplify our work a little bit if we notice that this fraction here is going to simplify because it has a common factor of two. So let's do that before we try to determine the least common denominator. So 10 and 16 have a common factor of two. So this is going to simplify to five-eighths. So let's rewrite this as five-eighths plus eleven-twelfths. And now let's see if we can determine the least common denominator when we have a denominator of eight and twelve. Of course, eight times twelve would give us a common denominator, but there's going to be less simplifying involved if we can find the least common denominator. And one way to identify the least common denominator is to look at the prime factorization of the denominators. So let's rewrite five eighths as five over the prime factorization of eight would be two times two times two plus eleven over the prime factorization of twelve. Well twelve is four times three and four is two times two so we'll have two times two times three. Now the idea here is if we want to add these fractions the denominators must be the same which means they must contain the same factors. So now we can look at the prime factorizations and see what factors is this denominator missing that this one has. Well this has a factor of three, so this denominator must also have a factor of three. So we can multiply by a factor of three here as long as we do the same to the numerator. Now looking at this denominator here, we can ask what factors is this one missing that this one has. Well notice how this denominator has three factors of two and this one only has two. So we need to multiply this denominator by another factor of two. And then of course the same in the numerator. So now if we look at our denominators, notice that they both contain three factors of two and one factor of three. So what we've done is we've built the least common denominator using a method similar to the one we used to determine the least common multiple of two numbers. So now let's go ahead and rewrite these. This would be fifteen over two times two times two times three, that's twenty-four, plus over here we're going to have twenty-two, again all over twenty-four. And now that we have a common denominator we can add these fractions. The denominator is going to stay twenty-four, and now we add the numerators. Fifteen plus twenty-two is equal to thirty-seven. Thirty-seven and twenty-four do not have any common factors, so this is a simplified fraction. It is an improper fraction, but it is simplified. So depending on how you're supposed to express your answer, if an improper fraction is okay, we're done. If it needs to be expressed as a mixed number, remember a fraction bar means division. So we'll take thirty-seven and divide by twenty-four, there's one twenty-four and thirty-seven. Have a remainder of thirteen, which tells us that thirty-seven twenty-fourths is equal to one whole and thirteen twenty-fourths. The fraction here is the remainder over the divisor.